Uh, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is a heavyweight contest over six five-minute rounds of one fall, one submission, or knockout to decide. In this corner, ladies and gentlemen, that very like of a young man, the Southern Area heavyweight champion, Steve Arvida. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the all-action from Birmingham, Gordon Corbett. Well, for the first time on television in his career since about 1963, when he turned pro, for having been a pro boxer, on the right there, Gordon Corbett of Birmingham has to take on one of the most popular heavyweights in the business today, Steve Veder. Formerly Ellesmere Port, now of course Wallingham, near Croydon. Six rounds, one fall to decide. Second way, first round. Steve Veter in his usual light yellow trunks. <laughs> Joe Dorazio, the referee, one fall to decide this over six rounds, and the question is now how will Gordon Corbett shake up on his first televised appearance? against such a, a very well-known and experienced man. <laughs> Double interlock, switch to a single interlock by Cor Corbett. Keeping his distance at the moment, Four. and very wisely. Trying the double wrist lock for his own version of it. Vida's left arm didn't work too long, nor did the, the counter by Vida. Very loose side head chancery. Vida can't quite understand his style here at the moment. Maybe he's met him before, although not on a small screen. Vida, 15 stone one in the light trunks for back to us here, giving away quite a few pounds, 16 stone for it. Still Vida holds him up at the back of this leader, keeping his distance as much as possible while he does so. Especially the feet. Turning his man, he's still the same hold on. Now, <laughs> Vida right against the joint. That's the right knee. That'd be the right knee, making sure it stays there for as long as he wanted it to. Back to the double handed wrist. <laughs> Two minutes left, round one. Yes, a nice strong hurl across the ring, but unfortunately he was in the, the lever as he did it. And winds up in an easy backhander for Vida. Nicely, finally a counter that came off. Good not be trying by Vida. Hold it and walk to the over the top shoulder press possible here. So both those hands interlock now pretty firmly. It's a matter of strength now. 
But Reader had to go with it. Gordon Coburn held on well. He followed up a little late, but he got there. But not for long enough, but he hold it. On the top, I called it. <laughs> Just about 15 seconds. And Vito trying a crotch hold, but can he lift with the backhammer on? He won't have to bother too long. There's only about five seconds to go. Unusually unhappy with that first round, Vida there. Not used to the style of Gordon Corbett. I don't know if he's met him before. Probably not, I would say. Not for some time, anyway. Didn't understand the moves at all that were coming at him. And he couldn't get out of that backhand at the end at all to try his lift from the crotch hole that he had on beautifully when the bell went. Seconds away, round two. Round two, one fall to the side this match. <laughs> referee Durazio, unlikely to have any trouble with this, but look at this. Certainly not with Rido unless the, his opponent starts it. Corbett shaping pretty well, although rather unorthodox on occasions. Quick head mare and another. Now he missed it this time and Vida lost his balance and across the shoulder press, but now Vida waiting with his feet just to grab the head and throw it out. And a spin out from the ground. Not too much worry there, or the crowd thought at the, for a moment that uh, Vida was in trouble. Now he might be again. Gordon Corbett using his uh, weight advantage to affect. Still the spin out came. And Vida decides to hold up a The uncrossed head seconds. Powerful legs to put on one without crossing the feet past the neck. Hold and slam by Corbett. Oh, no. Stays there too long and doesn't bother to follow it. No, and this time it. Single interlock, but Vito walks into the arm lock. This man powerful enough to hold it for a bit. This Vita can get right over the top. No, don't do it like that. Still the arm up there. For a curious reason, he told it then, released it, got it back again. Couple of minutes left. Second. Still the arm up there. Vida certainly not having it all his own way at the moment. Yeah. 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 
Well, it will not let this man not go. That's got to go over the top and he's done it. There it is. But Corby waiting for him. And the arm lock's still there. Despite that quick cross buttock, having gone right over the top of his man. Finally, Corbett decides to release. He's let go now, so he can't continue that move. Just a minute to go. So he's on his head. With a right arm, not too happy. A reverse crunch. Face down, knee drop. Half a minute to go, and looks as though maybe Vida are finally taking over slightly here, starting to dictate the end of this second round. Corbett. Yes, oh no, this time this one beautifully. It's a folding cross from the side. Corbett, no chance. No. And only five seconds. Gordon Corbett of Birmingham. His first television appearance. 16 stone of him. He's uh, not travelled abroad too much. Europe occasionally, but he prefers to stay in the UK. No amateur experience, of course, as he explained to me, because he'd been a pro boxer for a couple of, couple of years or two years and a half. He was unable to go to the amateur ranks of wrestling following that. So he turned pro wrestler in 1963 full time. He has no speciality. More or less continuous attack is his speciality. Second away. Round three. Round three, one fall that aside this bout. Of course, no score. Four rounds to go. Steve Vida in the light yellow trunks versus Gordon Corbett of Birmingham. And Vida at the end of the last round showing signs of uh, taking over until the very last minute of the round, last seconds of the round, when Corbett came back with a vengeance. Double interlock to Vida's advantage now. Finger in the lock and turning the arm right over and goes for the arm lock, gets it beautifully. Now he's taken an arm lock for quite a time, Vida. Now he's dishing one out. Still holding the arm up very definitely on Steve Switch to lever. On that uh, left wrist of Corbett's. Nice monkey climb, but the, uh, the wrist lever is still there. And very much the right knee, ensuring that it stays there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's an unusual move to get inside. It didn't work, but I'd like to see him try that again. Two minutes left in the third. Just a one-four contest. And still, Peter persisting with this wrist leaving. Keeping the arm against the joint as much as he can at the same time. Going for the crotch hold again, a nice knee drop and Vida forced to release that lever finally. But caught with a knee drop. Just a minute to go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left it a little bit near the ropes, but he's got a chance. Now the body says it's counted. With 30 seconds to go in the third, and Corbett's still in the body, says so he's trying to get an attack going with those powerful Vita legs around the rib cage. All right, I've had enough, he said. So a good sporting bout, and only a few seconds to the bell of Grand Prix. No question, Steve Veter this afternoon finding this little more strenuous than pulling pints in his local pub at Waller, Wallingham. And uh, he, I don't think I've ever seen quite the same Steve Vito before as the way he's playing this, this man, this big man from Birmingham this afternoon. Very, very unknowns, and Vito didn't quite know what to make of him. And he's been the wrong end of a points decision quite a lot in round so far. Let's see what happens in the fourth. Seconds away, round four. Round four, three to go. Vito versus Corbett. Corbett of Birmingham. Vito in the light trunks. No score. The first fall is the decider. Side head chance for Vito. Vito must continue the attack now. Shoulder press over the body. Only gets a one. One and a half, maybe. Well, it's nice to see some new heavyweights on the small screen. Gordon Corbett putting up a very good show on his first appearance. And quite worrying Steve Vigor on several occasions. Oh, yeah. Laying the butt and walking straight into it. Using the ropes again, Vigor going for the butt again, but this is Gordon Corbett over the top. Double leg Nelson now, chance again on a two, gets a two. Vida spun out before he goes for the folding press. And Vida over the top of trouble again here as Corbett goes for the press. Cross press there and Corbett really worrying Steve Vida now. But a side folder to Vida must finish it. Yeah, beautifully handled. When he got the chance, he went for it. And no trouble from an experienced man like Steve Vida with a folding press from the side. Vida the winner by the one fall required. And Bobby Palmer, our MC, 
A little bit, ladies and gentlemen, in round four, the winner of the only four required, Steve Vigo. And I'm sure, ladies and gentlemen, I must pay a compliment to a very hard and very good wrestler. Let's give him a hand, Gordon Corbett.